So this is a review of the Flurion T3 1800 mAh. I have a Skoda SDI 1.9 that I have completely disabled the battery from. So that's the battery negative, the battery positive. I have got four bars, so a full charge. And right now we have no power in the car whatsoever as it's not plugged in. I shall plug in the charger unit. I heard clicking into life. for the finger. So we now have power. No, that appears to have come loose. It is quite an extreme test. The fuse feels warm. Maybe I hadn't put that completely in. There's still four bars of power. Accidentally hit the stop button. Let's try and reconnect. Sorry for looking at absolutely nothing. So we are plugged in. Live. We are still connected to the battery negative. And we have power. It was sluggish, but it did the job. Now all that's left to do. Is to isolate the car. And as this is a diesel, it will just keep running itself. Pretty conclusive. That's the job. A little sluggish. It's about eight degrees outside, but it does the job. Just a quick addition. I've heard there's different types of batteries that can be stored inside these, and depending upon the type of batteries, you'll either get 12 volts or you can get 13.4 volts approximately. Um, so just find out what voltage is coming out of this. So I have my handy multimeter set to 20 volts. I ram the positive in. Ram the negative in. I've got it backwards, but that's eleven point nine five volts coming out from this pack. So this is pushing out pretty much 12 volts so if you know what type of battery technology that's using that's the type of technology it's using for 12 volts rather than 13.4